Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 4 Pro Pigment Palette. My last video was on this palette. I did a whole review of it and a super graphic liner, bright neon eye look. But today I wanted to use this palette again because there are so many gorgeous, gorgeous shades in here and I wanted to use it again and create a more wearable look today. That's what we're gonna do and let's get started. So I'm starting out with my NYX Cosmetics Concealer just to prime my lids. And I'm using a flat concealer brush to do this. I'm going to start out in the shade A4 and I'm using a Morphe M441 brush and I'm going to place this all along the crease to act as a nice transition shade before we apply any colors. I'm going to go into the shade C4 which is this really pretty pale purple and I'm using a fluffy eyeshadow brush for this. I'm just going to place this on the inner half of the crease. Now I'm using a Real Techniques buffer brush and I'm going to go into the shade E4 which is a deeper shade that we're going to place right onto the outer half of the crease and the outer corner. And where the two shades meet, I'm just kind of softly blend those together so that it looks really nice and well blended and we'll also go back in and blend it out afterwards. I'm going to go back in with the pale purple shade on the same brush from earlier and just reapply that and blend it where the two shades meet. And just to deepen up the outer corner a little bit, I'm going to go into the shade B5, which is a matte brown shade. Place that very close to the lash line. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go into the shade C5, which is this deeper matte pink. And I'm using a Morphe M456 brush. And I'm placing this all across the lower lash line, and it'll kind of just help to add some pink to the look. For the lids, I'm going to use some MAC Fix Plus and spritz a flat Morphe M166 brush and just kind of lightly dampen that so that we can go into the shade E3, which is this gorgeous shimmery color. And I'm just going to tap this all over the lid where we hadn't really applied any other eyeshadow. And I'm not like cutting the crease or anything. I just want this to be like a really pretty soft glittery eye look rather than it be like a just harsher packed on glitter look today. And then for the inner corners, I'm going to go into the shade E2 and just place this because it's just going to add a really pretty highlight. I'm going to add the shade B1 and place that right onto the brow bone. And then I am also just going to add a winged liner to this look to finish it off. So I'm using the Mia Dora Overcomer Liquid Liner and drawing a straight line across my lash line and flicking it out. Now I'm just going to pop on some Kiss Flirty Lashes and then also apply some mascara. This one is from Urban Decay and I'm applying this to the top and bottom lashes to finish off the eyes. For highlighter today I'm using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. It looks like this and I'm just going to mix both of these shades and apply this to my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. And for my lip color, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Natural to line my lips. And then I'm just topping this off using a Kylie Cosmetics High Gloss in the shade My Little Aquarius, which is just this gorgeous, light, pinky, purpley lip gloss. But it's going to come up clear and look super, super pretty. So this is the finished look. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Hit the bell button to turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I upload a new video every week. And also be sure to go check out my review of this palette if you guys haven't already. It was my last video. I'll have it linked down below in the description box and also at the end of this video. You guys can also find me on Instagram at Victoria Costanz and on Twitter at Vic Costanz. So be sure to go follow me on there and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!